This video is about the GameSir G7 controller. The latest firmware update makes it not work anymore on the Kronos M. So in this video, we will talk about how to, down how to downgrade the firmware and make it work again with the Kronos M. So first of all, let's verify we have the latest version and it doesn't work really on a Kronos M. So first of all, let's plug it in to our PC. We have the GameSir Nexus app open already. It's plugged into my PC now, so let's hold down the button here so it's turning on and the app can detect our control. Great, it's detecting now, it's detected. Now, what we can do is we can go and press this button right here. This button, this button is called firmware upgrade and you can read here, it says there's no new update because we are already on the latest firmware. So we hit OK, exit this and then we are here on a gamepad tester. On the gamepad tester, we can actually test if the controller is working. As you can see, it's working without any issues. And now we can go ahead and unplug this controller from the PC and plug it in to the Chrome Zen. We're going to plug it in. That's it. And now we can press, and nothing is detected. So we have to power on the controller. So we're holding the button here. And as you can see, nothing is happening. We can even go to Zen Studio, and even here, nothing is detected. We can go to Device, and even here, nothing is detected. You can see here, connected devices, there's just nothing. So it doesn't work at all. What we're going to do now is, you are going to the guide where you got this video from, and there will be a file this is a file to downgrade your controller and you're going to download this file on your desktop. So on my desktop, it's here. What you're going to do now is you are going to open this app and if you open this app for the first time, it may say careful attention, this and this, just press OK, just press open and then you can open this. So once you open this, what you're going to do now is you're going to hold this Xbox button and this menu button together, like I do now, both fingers. And now you're going to plug in the um, cable to your controller and the other end goes to the PC, obviously. When you did that, just hold on and wait. On my PC, it says no, um, couldn't recognize your controller so I think this might be the cable good that this happened here so if there's questions you know what to do just try again unplug okay it doesn't work so what we're going to do now is we are going to get the original cable I have now let me just wrap it up and I'm going to plug this one into my PC and it now doing the same again, holding the Xbox button and the menu button together and now I'm plugging in the original cable and now nothing happens, great because I'm pressing the wrong button I think try it again, Xbox button, menu button, holding and plug into the PC so now it worked, great when it says online here, you can just release the both buttons and you are going to press upgrade firmware. It will, it will take a few seconds. When it's done, it will say upgrade success. So go ahead, close this one, leave the controller plugged in in your PC, go ahead and open Gamepad Tester once again. Okay, then we opened Gamepad Tester again. We have our controller. It's plugged in directly to the PC. You can press anything, nothing is detecting. So go and press this button here. And then it's detected. You can see here, player three. So my controller is now downgraded and it's working directly with the PC. Now we're going to unplug the controller from the PC and plug it in directly to the cruising. When we did that, we can open Venture in a second. So you can see nothing is working here. Open Venture here, go to device, nothing is detected. 
of the button here. It's powering on. Let's go tools, device, monitor, and here you can see we have input. Now we're going back to the gamepad tester and we have input here as well through our Zen. You can see here it's connected through the Zen. We can plug it off here and we see it's directly disconnected. So plug the tape into the Zen. It's not detected. Hold and press the button. Not working. Hold and press again. Not working. So let's check what happened here. Because sometimes it happens. I don't know why too. You can see it's not detected. So when this happens, no panic. Just unplug everything, right? And plug in the Zen again to your console or PC. And then go into plug in the controller and power it on. And now it should detect. As you can see here, now everything is working as intended. So this is how you downgrade your controller and make it work again.